COINTELPRO stands for Counterintelligence Program, and it's basically an infiltration method used against radical groups and, uh, you know, civil rights groups of the 60s and whatever. Many of us know about their manipulation, the, fed, the federal manipulation of groups like the Ku Klux Klan, but many of us are unaware of COINTELPRO in, in regards to the Internet. Well, here's just a few articles. Here's an article from Wired Magazine regarding a 2006 report for the Joint Special Operations University. Blogs and Military Information Strategy. And then you see where it says right there, Hiring a block of bloggers to verbally attack a specific person or promote a specific message may be worth considering. Well, they're already doing it. Blogs are CENTCOM's new target. And here's one from the Department of Defense's own website. CENTCOM team engages bloggers. Their mission statement is simple. Clutter up the search engines by making fake conspiracy vids and sites. They, deli they make deliberately bad videos that are designed to uh, scare away newcomers, make uh, people think that, you know, conspiracy theorists are just, you know, making something out of nothing and overanalyzing. So when you go looking for the truth, all you find are big lies. Their second job is disinformation and misdirection. They uh, insert uh, lies and infiltrate into already currently existing movements like you know the 9-11 nuke story you know the nuclear wa weapons hap uh, detonating at 9-11 or the aliens at 9-11 story these were all disinfo their third job is to scare away newcomers people who are you know finding out the truth for the very first time when they come up and they stumble on uh, their posts and their sites full of nothing but craziness it just scares people away they pose as conspiracy theorists and, and uh, they curse a lot while they're conspiracy theorists or at least posing as them. Uh, they speak intelligently when they're scoffing at conspiracy theorists and they speak poorly and uh, stupidly when they're posing as them. Their fourth job is infighting and basically they just say that everybody's disinfo. Alex Jones is disinfo, David Icke's disinfo, Michael Tazarian is disinfo, they do a lot of Ron Paul bashing. Basically everybody's just, you know, working for the bad guys and that's what they go around doing so that they can uh, stir up distrust among every everybody. But you should know that uh, a real truth seeker doesn't have time to go online and bash Alex Jones or Ron Paul. If you don't believe these people individually, that's fine. Uh, but no real truth seeker does that, so there's usually an agenda. They also like to pose as anarchists, communists, Marxists, and anti-Semites. And they also like to associate conspiracy theorists and conspiracy theories with anarchy and communism and Marxism and anti-Semitism. They like to incite religious and racial tension. You'll see them just go from place to place talking bad things about Jesus, uh, or it'll be you know, against whitey or against blacks. Um, they like to go around promoting atheism. Their job is to incite racial tension and to have newcomers associate conspiracy theorists with these racial tension and with the religious uh, bigoted statements and whatever. You'll find them everywhere. They like to keep video makers and websites busy with nonsense. And one of their favorite things is to call for violence. You know, the the only the feds think to do it and only the feds get away with it because if anybody else calls for violence on the internet you're gonna have goon balls at your door so when you see someone who's calling for violence usually that's one of them here's some tips if somebody's making comments that are a little too ignorant don't respond don't indulge these guys these guys job is to waste your time and to keep you misled misdirected and busy don't let it work don't make a threat on the internet. Do not make threats. And do not make contact with people who do. No, 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 Lights. God in heaven. What is this place? It's a blood farming facility. Vampires decided that hunting humans on a piecemeal basis was 
too inefficient. Why kill your prey when you can keep them alive? Under optimal conditions, a donor can generate anywhere from 50 to 100 pints of blood. Productive. Where do you get all these people? They got processing centers in every major city. At any given time, there's what? Two, three million homeless wandering around America? They just pull them in off the streets. Nobody cares about them. We're doing this country a service, really. Vampire final solution. Are they aware? Do they feel anything? They're in a chemical induced coma. They're brain dead. Look at this. This is the future you want. What you think? Will they have a place for you in their future? We don't have a choice. They're going to win. Can't you see that? He's come back. There's nothing stopping them now. There's me. Go. You got 20 seconds. <laughs> 